Juan de Dios Ramirez Heredia has seen much change in Spain, and along with the Spanish, the Roma people have changed too. Himself an atypical Roma, he's succeeded where many of his community haven't. He's a Spanish MP and now an MEP, with two university diplomas in law and journalism. He leads the non-governmental organization, the Romani Union. Juan de Dios Ramírez Heredia, what do you think of the expulsions of Roma from France, especially as we now know that the Interior Minister issued a memo targeting them? I find it undignified behaviour from a democratic government, especially a great nation like France. But what can we do? Even the best of leaders can lose their heads. A veces, también los dirigentes más conspicuos pueden enloquecer. The European Commission has suggested sanctioning France. Will the Romani Union also take legal action, and if so, which sort? Nosotros desde la Unión Romaní. The Romani Union would like to take France to the EU's Court of Justice because if the European Commission manages to get its case heard, and that I doubt, then we'll be there to support it. Cosa que todavía estoy dudando, nosotros estaremos allí para apoyar. If, however, the Justice Commissioner's case is unfortunately, for whatever reason, not heard, at least we'll be there to defend our legitimate interests. Al menos estaremos nosotros allí para defender nuestros legítimos intereses. Estas expulsiones pueden tener. Do you think these expulsions could have consequences in Spain? Esta es la pregunta. Déjeme que le diga una cosa que creo. Let me tell you one thing that can dispel any fear that the French Roms could be arriving in Spain soon. First of all, it's materially impossible. Sarkozy takes them, puts them on buses, takes them to the airport and puts them on a plane. He's not pushing them towards the Pyrenees. Now I'd like to tell you a widely known secret. The other day in Paris, I asked my colleagues if they had any news from the first Roms expelled by Sarkozy, and they told me many were already back in France. How is Spain's Roma community doing? You know it well. If we compare Spanish Roma to those who come from Romania, it seems as if the new arrivals have a lifestyle like Spain's Roma of 30 or 40 years ago. Does this mean Spain's integration programs work? They work, but it's not as easy as that. Just like in the proverb, Rome wasn't built in a day. Five or six hundred years of violent state persecution don't disappear overnight. Parte de los poderes públicos, de las fuerzas de orden público, eso no se resuelve de la noche a la mañana. The Roms are still held back by massive illiteracy. Un índice de analfabetismo pavoroso. Programs to tackle all their problems are starting to pay off, but there aren't any miracle cures. Pero no hay milagros. There are now very few Roma slums left in Spain. What are the main things holding them back today? It's true that there are far fewer Roma slums. Demolition and building programs have borne fruit, but education remains a huge problem. When the Roma people are equipped to defend their cultural identity and traditions on the same level as the rest of society, then living together in harmony will be a lot easier. La convivencia será mucho más fácil. Sigue habiendo. Is there still racism and anti-Roma discrimination in Spain? Yo no diré nunca, créame. I would never dare to say Spain is a racist country. First of all, I don't like it that people say all the Roms are lazy, lying thieves. Gitanos somos ladrones, vagos y mentirosos. No mire usted. Entre los gitanos hay vagos. You can see that among the Roms, there are as many idle, lying thieves as in any group. Moreover, the Eurobarometer statisticians regularly cite Spain as being one of the least racist countries in Europe. Can we say that positive discrimination exists as well? I'm not against positive discrimination. On the contrary, I defend the idea because thanks to positive discrimination, we can get a better balance so that in what I hope is a not-too-distant future, everyone can start with the same chances. Right now, that's absurd. Equality of opportunities doesn't exist. And that's why positive discrimination has to be generously applied.
The nomadic lifestyle of the Roma has always been stressed as the main problem preventing integration. Spain's Roma are nearly all settled now, but the problems persist. For example, neighbours are still complaining when Roma families are settled in their districts, and parents complain when Roma children are given places in schools. So what's the problem? That is the eternal cloud under which we live. All the Roms are lazy, lying thieves. Today you can still hear an average Spanish mother, the Spaniard who is not racist, however, say to her children, eat your dinner or the gypsies will come and get you. Or, that child is filthier than a gypsy. The stereotypes still exist. Changing attitudes is a complex thing, but we're making progress. You've said more than once that the rest of us should become a little more like the Roma from time to time. What would that change? Ordinary people, the payos, don't live. They live to work, and that's not healthy. The Romas have another very special philosophy of life. The idea of living to work is unthinkable. We only work enough to be able to live well. This idea alone implies a totally different concept of humanity and society. Could you give us a snapshot of what it means to be a Roma in today's Spain? The only thing I can think of is that being a Rom equals having a special lifestyle. In 50 years' time, the Roms won't be those claiming Rom parents or grandparents, but those living Rom lifestyles, with a Rom way of looking at things. You are proof that Roma can also succeed without having to become bullfighters or flamenco singers. Do you see yourself as just an example or a statistical anomaly? I was lucky. I don't want to be a leader, but yes, for a while, I was the exception. No longer. It's all thanks to my mother. She was an illiterate Roma who didn't know how to read or write. No one in my family did. But this woman wanted me to go to school. It changed everything. But that gitana wanted me to go to school. Racists don't want to hear what I have to say to you now, but the Spanish Constitution carries my signature, the signature of a Rom. They hate to be reminded of it, but I repeat it whenever I can because I have to defend myself by whatever means necessary. Juan de Dios Ramírez Heredia, muchas gracias.